Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Edju Anka, and we have a really great program for you tonight. We all have tonight uh, B. Moore, Mackenzie Baltimore, a young Virgin Island artist who's coming up the ranks, putting out a new CD. Uh, it's called Inside Out. We're going to be talking to him about his music career, his development, and where he had, some of the successes he's had and where he is right now. Also, you know that the spot jazz on the beach bayside rhythm is going to be this weekend we're going to talk with kamal george uh kamal george's uh saxophone uh, extraordinaire you know those guys him and dale and they produce some of the best shows we, we've seen in the bvi we're going to have a chat with him about what's coming up uh this weekend and what's coming up in the future so it's going to be really hot keep it locked right here the spotlight we'll be right back after these words from our sponsors spotlight is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Clarence Thomas Limited, the BVI Tourist Board, and CCT Global Communications. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with B. Moore, Mackenzie Baltimore. Good to see you, my brother. Good to see you. Yes. How are you doing? Everything cool. Everything good, good. cool. Have you been in, how long have you been in, the, in, in, in music now? I've uh, been doing this for, this year will make about seven years. Seven years. Been doing this professionally. Uh, it's been a, been a long, been a nice, been a hard journey. But um, got to keep pushing. If you, know, if you know what you want, you got to keep pushing. So, so <coughs> but what is your motivation? Because you have a day job. Yeah, I do. You have a day job. And you, you, you sing a lot. You sing with, um, in, in many yeah. shows and, yeah. and, and so on. What's your motivation? Well, my motivation is you have to look at, um, at life as, as this is purpose. You know, it's not, it's not for the fame or the money. That comes with it, but it's purpose. So when, when you look at it as, as purpose, you know, and seeing, and seeing that you can inspire people by, by what you sing and how, how we can change their lives. <clears throat> so changing their lives. Is, is what really motivates me, whether it's by singing by society, whether it's singing about relationships, whether it's singing about God. You know, all these aspects really motivate me to just, you know, see the, the smiles or the, or the motivation they get from me being motivated. So you, you, you're hoping to change lives? Are you hoping to bring some of sort of, uh, of course. tranquility and of course. substance to the lives of the persons of that, that, that hear your music? Of course. What, 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 what would you consider the, your music to be, uh, the genre? If you were to label it, would you, would you be able to label it's, your sound? Is it rhythm and blues? Is it's it? it's R&B inspirational. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say R&B, you know, it goes along the line of relationships. It goes along the lines of a lot of, <clears throat> speaking about a lot, a lot of love. Um, and I say inspirational, um, you know, music is about inspiring. So you, you want to always sing, or to me, where I came from and the background I came from is church. So anything I sing or anything, anything I, I, I write about, something inspirational has to be in there somehow. <clears throat> so you label it there, but mostly R&B music. And it, it must be difficult here in the, in, in the Virgin Islands. I mean, ha, have you been able to really make any, any money? Not, not, I'm not talking about being rich, like mm -hmm. how you hear people being rich in America mm -hmm. and the rest of right. the world, but even to, to eke out a, a something extra than your day job. Um, it's, it's hard because I'm an indie artist. It, it's, it's a, I'm an independent artist. So, you know, what you invest, you always want to make back from it. But mm -hmm. at times you don't make back from it. But yeah, here and there when I when I do shows, um, you get you know you get um, get your money. You get paid the, for you the get, shows. You get paid for the shows. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing is that the the music world has has gone so digital. So in 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 me doing that, I have to sell my stuff online, and I have to keep promoting and marketing and making sure that everything is right, so that not you, not only here in the Virgin Islands that my my music can be heard but abroad internationally. So right now, most of my stuff is, <clears throat> you know, is along the line where, where, you, where you get stuff digitally because everything is a click and a download and a buy, you know, or click a buy and a download, so. 
So you so you 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 make you, you pay for all the things that you do. I mean, you, you got well, a CD coming out, and yeah. you have to pay for everything. Yeah. Most most of it, yeah. How, how much it costs to put? Uh, how, how many? What is it? Ten tracks? Fourteen tracks? <coughs> it is ten. It is eleven tracks actually. Eleven tracks. Eleven tracks. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, studio time is is really really um, the hardest thing, um, but how you is how you present yourself you know you get sponsors and it's very important how you do stuff you know because you don't want to always be spending your money spending money you want to end up broke you know you know because the music is an investment <clears throat> so someone else could see it and invest in you so the thing is with that is that i the studio time the videos like i had the sponsor for my video um love again uh, that is directed by vlan the films um it, it 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 costs a, a good much if you want quality music, but mm -hmm. you know you can't you can't think of that of being Jesus and bread. This is so much money. You all have to think about okay, when this gets out, someone else is gonna see this and they're gonna invest in me, and it's gonna be way more. And by the time you know, you have to be paying for anything. So I look at it as that. I don't really you know look at it as spending too much money. So the in, <coughs> and what the investor gets in return? Uh, they get a star. They get promotion from from us being a star because they're they're avenues that they can't reach, but if they get someone who can help them reach it, you know, that that will be a, a very it will be will be very beneficial to them. Okay, because I'm trying to get a sense of how how the music the industry, industry goes. works yes. in the in the Virgin Islands, and, and I mean I I don't know how much. Uh, return you get on mm -hmm. all that is needed mm -hmm. to to build a music career and particularly <coughs> to produce uh, music. But d don't you get more for your shows than you actually get for the the, the, the CD? Yeah, of course, of course. When you when you have um, you know thousands of people paying you know to come and see you sing, you get. You know, much more, much, much more money. So much the C money. so the the the, the CDs are, uh, are mostly for your your promotion. You can say that, but I mean, you, of course, you, if it's good, you'll sell it, you'll make money. Yeah. yeah. But you, but you want people to hear it, buy it, and then that gives you more value. That's that gives me more value because mm -hmm. when you when you hear it, buy it. When you buy it, I get more money, and then I give you more inspiration. I give you more mm -hmm. music. So. And, and, and if, if, if the industry sees that um, you are being listened to, then they want to be behind you and yeah. they want to sponsor you. The, and the, the thing is with the music industry nowadays, the music industry looks for a fan base. If you can't build a fan base on, in your own hometown mm -hmm. or you can't build a fan base in your own um, um, region, so to speak, uh, the numbers got to be up and numbers don't lie. So if your numbers are up, you know, then they will invest in you and be like, hey, I like this kid. Um, let me invest in you. I can take you around the world. And then when that gets bigger, they, they get a cut off of that along with you. So, okay. so you, 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 have to get, you have to be good here at home. And then you, that's locally. And then you become good regionally. So you start selling in the Caribbean. And then you start selling internationally. So how how far along in that process you would say that you are? Um, right now, um, <clears throat> it's been it's been the fans. Let me say something about the fans in Tortola. They they are very supportive. You know, I hear a lot of talks about you know fans of this, fans of that, and people in Tortola don't support. They're very supportive because mm -hmm. if if it was if they I'll take an example if they weren't supportive of my music, I wouldn't be on the music fest lineup for the last. Um, Three three years out of the four years, four years, yeah, three mm -hmm. years out of four years. <laughs> but um, what where I am right now, I can say I'm regional right now. Okay, I'm not I'm not big big international. I'm, all, I'm trying to get to that point right now. But along um, with me networking with a lot of people because I also went to school. I'm graduating this summer. I went to school at Folsom University. That's an industry based school in Orlando, Florida. So with me being out there, you know, in that region, I'm just slowly, that's like a quarter of the, of the international industry, so, so to speak. So I can say I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm getting there, but locally, I'm, I think I'm there enough. So, you, you, so I know you're, you're well known uh, locally, 
<coughs> and so you, 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 you feel that you have a draw. When you're on stage, there's yeah. a, a group of people yeah. that's going to come, yeah. come, come to see you. Now, who, who writes your stuff? How, 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 how is your product developed? Well, thank God. God has blessed me with a gift of, mm -hmm. of a songwriting ability. Um, so I write most of my stuff. But this year and on this album, Inside Out, um, I, really, I really reached out to some people who I networked with because there are some really, really gifted people. People sometimes who can't sing, but they write a mad song, mm -hmm. a dope song. So um, I've reached out to some people in St. Thomas and L.A. and in Florida, and they wrote uh, one song, two songs actually on the album. So um, and one, one was local, one was, and two was in St. Thomas. So, you know, they, write, they wrote that song, and I write most of my stuff, and, you know, I just, I just get it from, you know, most of it is imagination and creating and being original. Originality is very, and creativity is very, very important in the music industry. So I try to do that and be different, you know, and just stay in my lane. Well, what is your training? You, you have to go to get any training? You just sing naturally? Uh, you know music? Uh, how, uh, on, on, on what level professionally do you consider yourself? Well, I, I, I got a lot of my training in church, mm -hmm. actually. You know, choir rehearsals, Every Saturday afternoon, shout out to the Jabbistines. <laughs> Every afternoon, um, you know, just, just I've been blessed to be around the right people, you know, where I sing and they'll tell me, stop, you're doing the wrong thing. You know, even um, I remember Kamau, who's going to be on the show soon, Kamau Georges, he, um, he really picked me up and, 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 and one day and he said, listen, you got a talent. But also one of my biggest, biggest persons who helped me vocally is Lincoln Ward. Um, was just talking to that, I was saying, dude, you're a hero because you, you had a lot of, you know, stuff going on. But Lincoln, Lincoln really, you know, pushed me to my limit in the studio. And he, you know, he told me, don't be afraid to crack. Don't be afraid to sound like you're going off key. Just sing and it'll come naturally. So, you know, those guys. They encourage you to put your spirit it, in just, it. Just, they just put your all in. Just put your all in it. And it's gonna come out eventually. You're gonna. It's gonna come natural eventually. Okay. If you were to say, if you were to talk about your achievements, what would you say they were? Um, um, but most of people, most of uh, the people knew me for um, as MBJ. Uh, people mm -hmm. knew me from. I had a uh, uh, number one um, the gospel song. Um, there was uh, in 2008. Uh, they know me for for that. It was circulating around a lot on tempo. Uh, but you know, so you had a, a video. Of, you had a video had a, on had tempo. A, had a, there was a big video, mm -hmm. but also um, I've have some had some memorable performances um, from you know the the Miss PVI shows. A lot of memorable performances at the college. Uh, I just had some memorable uh, music fest. Uh, last three years, I've been there. So. You know, and of course, and of um, course, Luther and, oh, yeah. and, and Stevie. Luther and Stevie was it one was of the, my memorable. Like that was the one of the biggest memorable. That, the, yeah, you, you had a good time. I had a good time. So you had a good time too. As well. Everybody had a good time. <laughs> Everybody had a good time. Yeah. That was just off. Shout out to D Spot Jazz for that. Yes, them. Yeah. These spots is really on the money. Yeah, they. they and you, 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 you hoping and expecting to collaborate with them again? Oh yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm actually, I'm actually on the Bayside Rhythms um, concert series, um, June eighth. Uh, Divinity Rocks. If if guys who don't know uh, Divinity Rocks, Divinity Rocks is um, Beyonce's bass player. She has an all all ladies band, and mm -hmm. she is phenomenal. She mm -hmm. is just bad. So, you know, I got on that show. Um, so it's May 11th and then June 8th. I'll be there. So you guys can check me out down there. Nanny Key, Captain Mulligan. So. Okay. Now the new CD is mm. coming out. When is it going to be re uh, ready? When is it, uh, kind of like the music, say, music industry say, when is it going to drop? It's gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited <laughs> about this album. It's 14 5 13. That's May 14th, mm -hmm. 2013. That's next week tuesday so you have exactly seven days to make up your mind mm -hmm. and say hey i'm gonna get this um it's gonna be ten dollars it's good good, good price. price it's gonna be it's gonna be online itunes and i'm gonna be through and through town you know selling these hours with my backpack i'm mm -hmm. gonna sell it tr um, throughout my trunk that's a hustler that's a grind mode if you want to say that's the industry term is a what that's the industry term what grind 
Grind. That's your grind. That's your grind. That's your okay, grind. That's your grind. You gotta grind. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta sell it door to door. You gotta go get them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So Inside Out. Um, it's gonna be out next week Tuesday. And also the video just finished. I just finished doing the video the weekend before. Ah, uh, just 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 great concepts and. So the the video for one particular song or just a general for the uh, single for the single. I'm, sh I'm sure everyone. I'm sure everyone is um, hearing the single right now. It's called Love Again. Shout out to all the DJs who are loving the song and playing the song and spinning the song. A lot of people heard it today. It was it was just on rotation and I was very very happy. So um, yeah, it's on rotation. Love Again. It is uh, as a big song. Um, it's based. It's based. It's based on a story where this one is about relationships, of course, love, and where you think you have, you think you think you want more from someone else, but really and truly, what you have is right in front of you. So you go out and you try to get it, but then you realize that, nah, you know, she doesn't cut it. You know, the one, the one that used to cook clean and do the the right stuff as a wife, you know, you left her, mm -hmm. and you went for some body else on the streets you know but then you have to find your, your way back to love again yeah so it's called the 80 20 rule that's it. oh yeah you know about it <laughs> you know about it 80 20 rule you know about it okay we gonna take a break right i think we i think i saw the break sign come up i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> we gonna take a break and when we come back we're gonna play a little bit uh we don't have the, the, video, the video yet yeah, not as yet but we're gonna um, play a little bit of the tune we're gonna sure. see the, uh, the picture and we're going to talk a little bit about that in, uh, in some of the other songs when, sure. when, uh, when we come back for a few more minutes. Keep it locked right in the spotlight. Sure. We'll be right back with more Be More. Spotlight is brought to you by Virgin Island Motors, Tortola Concrete Limited, Bolo's High Tech Printery, and H. Lavity Stout Community College. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm Edgy Winker, and you just had a little taste of <laughs> the more <laughs> CD that's going to drop on uh, next Tuesday, May yes, 14th. Yes, May 14th. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it shows an advancement. Yeah. Yeah, you, you move to another, you move to another e level. Evolution, I call it. Uh, ev thank you. Evolution. Uh, evolution. You move to, you definitely move to another level. I mean, and I remember. Thank you. And and what the the, the great thing for me mm -hmm. is that I'm I'm there. I'm, ah. You, you know. I mean. Capture uh, that I, moment. I, yeah, I saw you when you come out first on the Queen yeah. show. Yeah. Right. And you know, I said, well, this brother got some talent, but you could tell you were a little rough. Mm-hmm. Right. 
and then I see you progress, and then I saw you at at the Luther C V I show it with Kamau and them. And I knew that you had really yeah. uh, um, got to a Hard different work. level. And now this certainly is uh, this is this is going international. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It is actually going international. When the video hits more, I think people will capture and see what the song really says because I, I really wanted the visual to come out in the song. So it, it really does a lot of hard work, Kamro. It, it, it doesn't come easy at all. It doesn't come easy. And I think that, need, that needs to be said because a lot of our young people think that when they see uh, successful people, mm -hmm. that success comes and drops in your lap. You know, you, you, know the thing, you know the thing that it's a pet peeve of mine for here in the Virgin Islands is that people, people think, young artists in the Virgin Islands think that things are instantaneous. They, they just want it just like that. Mm -hmm. And nothing comes just like that. Nothing yeah. comes just like that. And it's amazing because you hear stories all over the world of actors, actresses, musicians, waiting tables, cleaning garbage, yeah. while they do it, yeah. trying to, 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 to develop their craft and right. their talent. And finally, one day, 10 years later, after yeah. all of the hard work yeah. and, and the, you know, the two jobs and all that kind of stuff, they get a hit. Yeah, exactly. You know? and, uh, and, and, and you think that they just came on the scene exactly. and got a hit. And, and then that's a really a, a big mistake. And, I, and I'm glad that you're here to clarify that. It, it's all about the journey. Like yeah. I always said, at 14, let me tell you before, at 14 years old, I was taught that, I was taught that you never let anyone outwork you. Yeah. I was in the States. I was uh, with, my, with my uncle, uh, baseball, for scholarship for baseball. And he looked at me and he said, what's the one thing about life and I couldn't answer. He said, the one thing about life is change. And he said, never let anyone outwork you. Never. That struck me in the head. Mm -hmm. And up to this day, I'm very competitive. So, you know. Now, Inside Out is this. We got a few more minutes left. Go Inside ahead. Out is sort of the, the, the theme. Yeah. Or that's the, that's the, yeah. the, 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 what you call it? The, the title. The title, yeah. the title track. Title track of the album, yeah. Yeah, title track. Uh, what is that about? Um, Inside Out is actually the same thing what, what we were just talking about. It's called, it's evolution. Mm -hmm. You know, you see me, but you don't see me. You know, you hear me, but you don't really hear me. So in the, on this album, I really, I really went out and I worked hard. It's some of my best work I put out. And as you can see, I don't know if I can just put this up. Uh, I don't know if you can put it up. I just, well, want, to okay. I, I just want to describe the artwork. Uh, shout out to Philip mm -hmm. uh, Richards. Uh, Vialanda Films, Double SMG, had to put that out there. Sorry. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> if you see on the on the cover, it's a mini me coming out uh, out of my um, out of my belly. That's because that's that's me. That's that's me. The real spirit the real now spirit is, 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 com is, is coming. Is through. really coming out. You, this have, is, you have matured. I've matured. So yeah. this is me. So you know that's it's just concept and, and creativity and originality. Of, of Inside Out and sh and the Inside Out title track is featured in NJR is um a young uh, up and coming artist as well from here in the Virgin Islands. And are you gonna have any you know like launching ceremony or yeah anything? I'm I'm trying to do everything after the the festivities uh, all the music fests and and what's not uh, so probably you'd see you know close to probably mid June. I get a whole nice, you know, nice concert, something like Luther versus Stevie. Okay. A bit better. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you will see that. But I just want everyone right now to look out for the website that is coming out on Tuesday. The video that will be on the website on Tuesday. And the album, so you click, you, you download, you buy. Click and you buy. Just want people to get that. And you download. Click and buy, you and download. It's on, and it's on iTunes. It's going to be on iTunes. So I, could, I could get it right into my phone. Just right into your phone. Yeah, right into your iPad. Right, right into, into your iPad. Yeah. Digital world is so, technology is so crazy. It's great. Yeah, but I'll have, great. for those of you who, who like your CDs, I'll have CDs you as have well. You have CDs as well. All right, cool. Well, my brother, I wish you all the best. Thank you very and much. as I said, I know you from a long time, and I know the hard work that you put in, and I could see the, the, the results of that hard work yeah. and listen to the uh, song Love Again. Yeah. Certainly, I think that that's uh, right up there with, yeah. with, with, with the best of them. Thank and you. All the best to you. Thank thanks you. Thanks for stopping by. I just want to sign this for you, though. Can I just sign this for sure, you, please? Sure, cool. Yeah. And um, shout outs to my team, uh, Double SMG. Shout outs to them. Really work hard. So.
It's not me alone. And then, yeah, anybody <laughs> you want to thank, you know, you got a few minutes to thank. My um, family is watching right now. Yeah. Thank you very much to my family for always supporting me. Mm -hmm. Ups and downs. They are there. That's my number one priority. God. I want you young people to always remember God. Please, please never forget God. Constance, God, family. And then everything else <laughs> could, could come afterwards. Uh, my friends at Folsom University, everyone who's watching right now, all my fans. Um, team go-getters. I love y'all. So Cool. That's great. Yes, we're going to take a break for a word from our sponsors, and we're going to come back with Kamal Georges. We're going to be talking about D-Spot Jazz and the Bayside Rhythms and the whole big concert coming up this Saturday. Yes, this Saturday it's going to be good. Starts, I think around 4 o'clock, 4 or 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon. It's going to be a hot, hot uh afternoon on the beach and it's good, it's good that it's close to the water because we know when Kamau and them do it <laughs> it's the smoke that be coming off the water right those are my boys man yeah that's family good, right there good to see if we can take a break we'll be right, right back with Kamau Georges right after these words from our sponsors don't go away Spotlight is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands Clarence Thomas Limited the BVI Tourist Board and CCT Global Communications